What's up, motherfuckers? Uh, today we're gonna be talking about the Cortana update and how come it hasn't come out yet? It's been a while since they announced it, huh? Ever since the uh, experience update, still not out. Their team is working hard, very hard, to get it out to us. Before we get into the more about the subject of matter. Today we have a sponsor, well not really a sponsor, I'm just kidding, but this dude is fucking hysterical. <laughs> oh, dude, I still think it's funny. Oh man, well so I don't get in trouble for saying I took your video and tried to put it as my own. This is a guy you should go uh, subscribe to if you want to see more of his content. This is not obviously not my content. I don't do this content. I do Call of Duty and a bunch of other random shit. I don't do bunny rabbits fucking uh, uh, a rag. But, <laughs> I mean, I'm not hating on the dude. That was the most funniest fucking thing in the world. He does cocaine dinosaur. Everyone knows cocaine dinosaurs. Obviously bigger than me. I mean, I'm not... I mean, obviously it's not me. I got 78 subscribers. How the fuck would I like... If I post this content, I guarantee you I would be up there more. But, getting on back on the matter of uh, Cortana. And back on the topic. Reading from Techno Buffalo site... Xbox One will get background music, Cortana this summer. Why would he choose this outside? Eh, not a bad photo for, but why would you put it outside? Anyway, getting off topic. All right, so it's straightforward. Start getting your playlist ready. You'll be listening to your own music while you play while you play Xbox One this summer. As part of Microsoft's build conference this week, a few new features heading in Xbox One were confirmed and given a solid timeline. As part of the Windows 10 anniversary update, users will finally be able to listen to background music on Xbox One without snapping an app to the, to the side and cutting into the game screen real estate. This was a fan favorite feature on Xbox 360 and has been one of the most requested on Xbox One since its release. Additionally, the Windows 10 Assistant Cortana will arrive as part of the update. The full functioning of Cortana will be re revealed later, but Microsoft wants her to become our personal gaming assistant. The update will also bring together the Xbox and Windows game stores to better support things like universal apps, cross-buy, and multi-platform bundles. The upgrade is expected to hit sometimes this summer. Well, if- Oh, God. Well, if you haven't noticed, Getting back on topic before we saw that horrific incident. Um, apparently this has been announced since close to last November. Actually, before November. About two months before November, it's been announced for the Xbox One experience with Cortana. But apparently Cortana hasn't been really functioning quite properly. So they had to push it all the way back to the summer, which is unfortunate. And which also makes sense because Cortana is supposed to be a very smart assistant and needs to have sort of like this AI with her. So I mean, there. I mean, it's it's perfectly understandable that she needs to be worked on a little bit. So give Xbox some time, with Cortana guys. And I mean, if y'all want her to work right, then I mean, let them work. I mean, there has been Cortana in the preview update, but th that, she wasn't fully functioning correctly. I am a preview member. I didn't get the user, but all I know is I don't think she was working that well, but she was working good enough for some people's eyes. But that doesn't mean she's completely perfect. Another thing to notice, we're getting background music. So, say if you snap Pandora, uh, Xbox Music, YouTube, you can play it in the background, unsnap, Twitch supports that, Twitch, you can unsnap Twitch and it'll still broadcast. You can now unsnap YouTube and 
still hear your music in the background. So that is since Xbox 360, and I and I'm really happy for that one because it's such a pain in the ass to to listen to music and then fucking have that shit cut off. I mean, I love it. I don't think this is all we have for that update. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have more. There might be another page somewhere, but I don't. Mm, want to read too much because i already spent four minutes uh reading this page if you want to go to tech buffalo go to their site www.techlobuffalo uh, can't talk for shit techno oh my god i'm never mind fuck it techno buffalo go to their site if you want to see this site or see anything they post there you go it's right here i really do admire uh, a company that takes fan feedback and puts it into their company their fucking system dude i mean they don't they can't take everybody's feedback and sometimes they don't get it perfect but they're trying their best i mean come on i mean backwards compatibility is taking a long ass fucking time especially for black ops 1 Just for the simple reason they need to renew every single license for every single game apparently at least that's what i believe i don't know what the issue is could be the issue that's what i'm hearing i don't know what the real reason is but guys they're trying their best i mean they're a big company i mean yes they do have a lot of money but they're not completely in control when coming when it comes out to games they put it on their system but if you think about it uh, they have to go through a publisher and uh, and they have to negotiate with their partners and basically any game company Treyarch uh, well mostly Activision because Activision publishes the game that that they're the manager of Treyarch and Infinity Ward and any Call of Duty that comes out so basically what they have to do is any game developer Respawn Entertainment Tre uh sorry not Treyarch Activision EA Sports it's not the developers of the game it's the publisher of the game so they always have to go through the publisher of the game and negotiate uh, licenses with the game publisher Activision Respawn Entertainment maybe yeah I think that's a Maybe that's a dev. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I'm just naming things I remember, but not the point. Not the point. They have to go through a publisher for a game before they can get their backwards compatibility because they need to. They need to renew the licenses for their game to be backwards compatibility, so they can compact the Xbox 360 files into a file system, so that it can be backwards compatible on a Xbox One platform. So basically what they're doing is my I'm theorizing they're it's like an app it's a game they're po they're basically putting the 360 vir virtual system in the game in one big file as a game that is the reason why we can join parties that is the reason why we're be able to play it they didn't install it initially on Xbox to be backwards compatibility otherwise it would already be available for us all to use and to install our disc and be like, yeah, we can fucking do it. But since they planned it after, they have to compile the the system, the 360 files in the game into the into a an update so that they can run the 360 dash on the one so that you can play your 360 game. Basically, making a brand new game. Basically needing a renewed license for the game. Hopefully that has uh, t taught you guys some tech terms on why. Give them time. Just give them time. They're working hard. I mean, hey, they could say, fuck it. We're not going to do it. I mean, you know, they could be cruel, but, you know, they're trying to do as best as they can for you guys to enjoy y'all's gaming entertainment and... Just like anything, devs need time to develop the game. And I would love to see anyone, even me, to try and develop a game in under like a fucking week. Sure, if you put Pac-Man in that bitch, maybe. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the fuck out of the like button, and I'll see you motherfuckers later. Yeah, I don't need to smash the like button. Just smash it if you fucking like this video. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you motherfuckers later. Again. Goodbye.